Hello and welcome back. So in the last lecture, we have learned the virtual function concept. So now in this video, we are going to learn that how the compiler is, uh, you know, binding the data at the backend. So in this video, we are going to dig some more detail on a virtual function. So I'm not going to delete this code. Let's uh, remain it as a command. Okay. So now here, when you are declaring a virtual function in the class, what is happening at the backend? A table is created that is virtual function table. So now actually this is a table which is uh, having some pointer. Let's uh, you can take any pointer star ptr and uh, which is having the reference of those entries in a virtual function table. So now we are going to see that uh, is there any pointer at the back end or not. So here I'm going to write C out size of uh, let's uh, do some text over here that uh, the size of class person column so size of person okay so after that and up for the new line so now you can see uh, okay let's remove this virtual over here so I'm going to delete it and now I'm going to error it. So whenever you're not specifying any, uh, you know, data type in the class, so by default the size of class is one just to, you know, keep track uh, something in a memory. So that's why you always get a one with a, even an empty class, right? Okay. So now I'm introducing again the virtual function in a base class. Now let's run this and, uh, you can see we are having a 8 because the pointer in this compiler is having a 8 bit to store a pointer pointer data type so to prove my point so uh, i'm going to copy this code and uh, paste it over here the size of pointer not a c pointer okay the size of pointer you can take anything int star well, that's it so the pointer will take a eight bytes so from this you know okay you can see here is a pointer so whenever you're declaring the some virtual function in the base class so here you will have a pointer to the virtual function table now this one virtual function table having some kind of person colon colon show so this entry would be in the table if you are having a more functions over there so the corresponding entry would be in that virtual function table so now the matter of fact is that whenever you have a virtual function in a, any class and it is coordinate is also is going to have a same thing that is virtual function table per classes are managed by the compiler so here you can see that there is no virtual function in the student class but as a student is the child of a person so automatically in this class there is also a virtual you can say this is a virtual pointer so star vp vpt virtual pointer which is going to point to your virtual function table and here it will have the entries of uh, okay show sure. so here we have only one so student colon colon show sure. so this is the function in the table so if there are some another function like void any function like ppp okay so this would be the just uh, dummy entry so here the uh, your this 
virtual function table having uh, this code and one more entry that would be student colon colon pvp right. so this was all about the backend working of your virtual functions in the classes okay thanks for watching and uh, you can download the code uh, from my github link uh, that link would be provided in the description okay thanks for watching and keep tuned to my this channel so that you can have an update okay thanks